So there are two scriptures for today which say more or less the same thing. The first is from Psalm 37, verse 5. In Russian, that's Psalm 36, and it reads, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. And the second is from Psalm 138, verse 8. In Russian, it's Psalm 137, and it reads, The Lord will accomplish his purpose for me. And the meditation is as follows. It is impossible to assume that the Lord would send us trials, sorrows, and cares which would be beyond our strength to endure. There are no unendurable burdens in this world. Together with the burden, the Lord will also give us sufficient strength to carry it. It is heavy, it weighs on us, oppresses us, and sometimes it seems that we are exhausted in this labor and are ready to despair and to give it up, or else we think that we will not endure the test. The experience of a Christian life teaches us otherwise, trusting in God and expecting from Him on a daily basis both strength and instructions. We will not grow weak along the way and will endure to the end everything for which our own strength would obviously not be enough. He will accomplish it for us. Let's say that a difficult path lies before us. A high, steep, and inaccessible mountain stands before us. Raising our weary gaze to this mountain, we only see barriers and obstacles ahead at every turn. And truly, without a living and firm faith in God and His promises, this mountain is inaccessible. However, if we forget about our weakness and our infirmity and constantly call upon the Lord for help, step by step we will overcome both the obstacles and the mountain itself. As if on wings we will rise to the heights of God's truth, in the radiance of his light, where perfect peace and boundless joy reign. Do not despair along the way. The Lord gives grace to the humble. His mercy has not been depleted. The arm of the Lord is not too short to save, as it says in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. His light will not go out. Trust in him, and he will lead you to the end. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus, as St. Paul says in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6.